So let us start with the postulate two of the quantum mechanics and uh, we call it uh, operator and how to operate actually there are the different operator uh, to represent in quantum mechanics again instead of writing a complex equation and this you have already learned and i am going to discuss over here so for the postulate two for every dynamic variable that means the classical observable and the classical observable are the quantity that can be measured and uh, these are the quantities like uh, energy, momentum, angular momentum, and the position coordinates. These are the classical observable. And uh, I have mentioned over here, these are the quantities that can be measured. And there is the corresponding operator. So let's see uh, what is the operator and how it make the quantum mechanics more easier to represent the complex equation in a more simple form. So this operator, so in quantum mechanics, these are replaced by the operator. So instead of writing the whole, let's suppose this is the uh, kinetic energy or the uh, angular momentum. Uh, so instead of writing a complex equation, we are going to use uh, some operators and actually these operators are the simple that indicate some of the mathematical operation that means you would get the operators after mathematical operation and these symbols are let's suppose this is the square we have already discussed in the uh, postulate form you can take the square of the conjugate of the psi and that value was the uh, uh, the symbol was i and i value was equal to minus one under root so this is another operation this operation is called the differential operation this symbol is for the integration so these are the operation actually you uh, you will use these operation to get the equations and at the end and we will be replacing uh, with the, some sort of the symbols and these are called the operators. So I am uh, going to discuss over here uh, what are the operators and uh, how to represent in the quantum mechanics. So the first one is the, uh, the kinetic energy, let's suppose. So kinetic energy is the half mv square. So half mv square that can be also written in the form of the momentum. And that would be the kinetic energy would also be equal to the uh, P square over uh, 2M. And here uh, in one of the lecture uh, of, in this quantum mechanics, I have already discussed before, but here in uh, a very briefly, I'm going to discuss over here, how you are going to get this equation you just multiply and divide with the m. So when you multiply, that would be equal to m square v square divided by 2m. So this would be the m square v square. That means mass into velocity is the momentum. And uh, if it is the m square v square, that would be equal to the momentum square. So this is the kinetic energy. So how you are going to get this equation by taking the square and this one is the, actually you are going to operate uh, by some sort of the mathematical operation. And here the operation you are use, going to use, it is the square. So this is the momentum. So the kinetic energy that is represented with the T is the, uh, this is the, actually the P square over 2M. So I'm going to uh, display uh, over here with the uh, Cartesian coordinates with the X, Y, and the Z. So total energy, kinetic energy will be the sum of all these uh, uh, kinetic energy uh, at the uh, all of these three coordinates. So instead of writing this uh, whole equation or this whole equation uh, in quantum mechanics, we will use this simple and this is understood uh, uh, that mean 
we are going to use the or represent the kinetic energy and this symbol is for the kinetic energy operator so this one this is one of the operator we use in the quantum mechanics and this is the postulate number 2 so let's see another examples for the uh, 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 to represent the operators in the quantum mechanics and these are the equation we have already derived and discussed in the previous lecture this is the schrodinger wave equation the particle in one dimensional box and uh, uh, you will get uh, rearranging uh, this equation this is the total energy potential energy and this is the kinetic energy so here i am going to represent what would be the kinetic energy operator in a more uh, uh, accurate form or by using the schrodinger wave equation you are going to represent uh, the kinetic energy operator instead of writing all these uh, complex parameters over here so that total energy would be equal to like this again this is the the same equation i am just uh, replacing the the uh, planck's bar square will be equal to h square over 4 pi square just replacing the value over here you would get the this equation so all these equation are the same there is no difference so i am using this equation to represent or to explain what type of operators are there so actually there are the three operators so i am going to discuss over here one by one so this is the uh, the schrodinger wave equation in two dimensional box just adding one of the more uh, coordinates over here and this is the three dimensional box and adding one more coordinates over here that is a z so x y z there are the three coordinates that means the particle the movement of the particle in three dimensional form so here the first operator over here uh, it is called the hamiltonian operator so it is represented by the h so what is the value of this one this actually this whole uh, equation is the h so instead of writing this h bar square over 2m and these coordinates plus the potential energy so we are just using the h and this is representing this equation so that is the Uh, 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 operator one of the operator which you are going to get with the differentiation d over dx square this is the uh, uh, double differentiation of the equation so uh, plus the potential energy and it is given over here this is the h uh, bar square over 2m and here this is uh, being shortened with this symbol that is called the del square plus v is there so this equation this equation is the same and uh, again if you this is equal to h that mean e will be equal to h and this is the total kinetic energy total kinetic energy actually is the Hamil hamiltonian operator so let uh, discuss one by one all these three operator so the actual kinetic energy operator would be equal to this as i have discussed this is the kinetic energy this is the potential energy this is the total energy so kinetic energy is there so that again the kinetic energy operator this is the actual kinetic energy instead of the previous equation so that is equal to this so instead of writing all these complex equation in quantum mechanics we will use this symbol to represent the kinetic energy so whenever it is written in the quantum mechanics you must understand actually we are talking about this equation so this uh, third one is the uh, del square and these are the actually Uh, the second order derivative operator in the kinetic energy and we call it the uh, laplacian operator and it is indicated by the del square so in if you also write individually all these coordinates after the uh, second order derivative you may use this symbol 
and this symbol is called the del square and uh, it is called the Laplacian operator. So this is given over here. That means this is equal to this value. So this is a kinetic energy operator. This is the del square operator and the, the last one. Uh, so kinetic energy, as I have discussed before, you can just put the value of del square over here. So the kinetic energy would become uh, this equation. So the total energy uh, operator indicated by the H and is the sum of the kinetic energy and the potential energy as uh, we have discussed before in this equation. This is the same equation. Actually, this is a Schrodinger wave equation. This is the kinetic energy. This is the potential energy and Hamiltonian operator is the sum of the kinetic energy plus the potential energy operator. So this is the Hamiltonian operator and uh, actually the total energy operator is called the Hamiltonian operator because this would be equal to this. And actually uh, uh, this is the, the total kinetic energy as uh, we have mentioned over here for the particle in one, two or the three dimension box when all the whole value would be equal to H. So actually this is the Hamiltonian operator and what is the understanding of this operator? That means this is the total energy of the system that mean or uh, the total energy operator which is called the Hamiltonian operator. So we have discussed today the two postulates and uh, in the next lecture I will be discussing the, the rest two postulates.